So you're thinking about visiting Newport, Rhode Island? Well, in today's video, my team and I are gonna highlight one of the most famous and iconic areas here in Newport, Rhode Island, Thame Street. Let's get started right now. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is about living in Rhode Island or surrounding areas like Newport, subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market here in Rhode Island. My name is Devin and my team and I, we get calls and texts every single day from people just like you looking to make their move to Rhode Island and we absolutely love it. Whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email so we can help you make a smooth transition here to the Ocean State. In today's video, we're gonna be covering Thame Street. And as we walk down this Thame Street in one of the most famous areas and iconic areas in Newport, I'm gonna show you exactly what it's like to shop over here, live over here, and dine over here. Let's head this way. So right now, we started walking on Upper Thame Street. Upper Thame Street technically goes probably now about a couple hundred yards past like Point Liquors and near Farewell Street. So this is really the staple as you come into town. You'll notice that this is Washington Square. Now, Washington Square has a lot of different boutique shops that you can shop at. They have restaurants like Bacaro, they have a Mexican restaurant, and then Washington Square, as you can see behind me, heads up so you can come down Broadway and come right down to Washington Square. Also, on this side, when you first get into Upper Thame Street, there is a tremendous amount of shopping that you can, you can take place and do. As you can see, we have a lot of people honking at us because we're always filming out here. But this is a great area to go shopping. You have Sephora on the corner. You have different bakeries in here and different boutique shops where you and the family can go visit and entertain throughout the day. As we continue to walk down Upper Thame Street, you will see a variety of different local shops, local restaurants, and this is really the area where everybody will focus and come to because it's so popular. This is where all the entertainment can take place. As you see to my left, you have Banana Republic, obviously a very popular place for people to go shopping and grab great clothes. You can come past us. That's all right, we're just filming. <laughs> Absolutely. So as we continue to walk this way, there's gonna be your first parking area that you're gonna be able to find is on Upper Thames and it's located right here. So over in this area, you can park throughout the summer. What's, what you have to keep in mind is this area is gonna cost you anywhere from 25 to $30 to park for the day because the parking down here is limited. So as we walk this way, you're gonna get a really good feel of what it's like to live exactly on Thames Street and also shop and dine on Thames Street as we continue to walk down Upper Thames Street. Again, picture this during the summertime. There's people everywhere. They're walking with their dogs, their family, their kids. And it's really actually hard to walk because there's so many people visiting this iconic location here in Newport. A great restaurant to visit would be Brick Alley. This is a great location for dining during the afternoon and evening. They're always really consistent with their food and have great prices. You have to get here early though because they do get a line out the door because so many people recognize their brand from coming here in the past. So the parking that I was talking about is there's probably on Upper Thames Street here, I would say about 100 parking spots on Upper Thames Street, give or take. Now I didn't count out the math, so don't hold me accountable, but this is the limited parking that you have. You will pay for the parking, it is hourly. It can range between a dollar to five dollars for a couple hours to be able to park on Thames Street. Again, finding parking over here is very difficult, so you will be driving around maybe a couple times in order to find a spot that works best for you. And as you can see to my left and to my right, there is a ton of different options to shop at. A ton of different locations, like I said, boutique stores, um, name brand stores, as you see as we walk through here. If you're looking for furniture or a quick place to grab furniture, you have Ben's Furniture Co. right here. They have three different floors. Um, so make sure you visit them if you're in town looking to grab some furniture for the house and something that you can shop locally at. Now one of the more famous 
uh, restaurants, or I should say dessert places, is Cupcake Charlie's. So in the summer, you'll have a line out of the door um, looking to grab one of their famous cupcakes. So make sure to get there early if you'd like to grab a cupcake. I know for me, I'm a dessert guy. So Cupcake Charlie's is always packed, always popular. And as we continue to walk down Upper, upper Thames Street, you will find another parking lot as well. That parking lot is located on my left and your right. Again, the parking over here can range between $20 and $30 and, and goes up as we get more into the summer months. Keep in mind, your top summer months are gonna be June, July, and August, and September has become a very popular time to visit, to visit Newport, Rhode Island. Now, as we get towards the end of Upper Broadway, you can bear left here to go to um, America's Cup. This will get backed up with traffic, but keep in mind, you can actually keep going straight down the cobblestone. And one tip of advice that I can give you, and one secret, that most people coming into town veer off to the right to head to America's Cup. If you keep going straight, sometimes you get a lot more lucky than on that side of Thames Street because you're able to access these parking spots right over here because people don't think to continue to drive straight down Upper Thames Street. You have the Sunglass Hut right here, which you'll see directly behind me. This is where you can get a great pair of shades. They're always busy in the summer, not so much in the winter time because less people are in town. But if you're looking for sunglasses, the Sunglass Hut is gonna be one of the places you wanna make sure to visit. Now, for all the coffee lovers out there, I know Starbucks is gonna be very, very important to you, whether it's Dunkin' or Starbucks. Starbucks is on Upper Thames Street. This place is always, always packed. So there's always a line out the door. I don't know how many cups of coffee they're serving on a daily basis, but during the summer, it's gonna be incredibly difficult, not to get into, but just make sure you plan ahead and set aside some time if you're visiting Starbucks here. One thing that I'd like to point out is this used to be an old bar on top of the Starbucks building. It's called Queen Anne's Loft. So Queen Anne's Loft is an event space. So make sure to call them. It's a great event space. I, had, uh, I actually had my rehearsal dinner at Queen Anne's Loft and they did a phenomenal job. So make sure you visit Queen Anne's Loft for your next event. Now, as we begin to get to really the end of Upper Thames Street, there's a great park here. People come here, as you see, people are taking pictures right now. During the summer, you'll have people out here playing music. Um, people will be sitting on the wall, eating their ice cream, really enjoying uh, why they came to Newport, to be able to shop, to be able to dine, to be able to be entertained. As we continue to walk this way, we're gonna be again to hit kind of the upper side of Thames Street. So we've been walking upper Thames Street this whole time. Now, as we kind of cross over in this area, you're gonna have few of, a few popular restaurants. You're gonna have Benjamin's, which is a really popular restaurant. One key secret that I can give you that most people don't know about is on the third floor of Benjamin's is known as the Crow's Nest. The Crow's Nest is a great area to dine during the summer, and most people that are not here locally would never know about it. Next to that is gonna be the Pelham. Pelham is always, always packed with live music and live entertainment really at all hours throughout the day, not the morning, but more mid-afternoon and nighttime. So if you're looking in for entertainment, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to visit the Pelham. As you can see, one of my lender friends right here, Nick Brownell, we'll give him a little, we'll give him a shot right there. See, we're always seeing people. Thanks, Nick. So keep heading this way. On my left will be Speakeasy Bar and Grill. Now, picture in the summertime, this place is all mobbed, it's all packed. It's one of the nice areas you can sit out on Thames Street, have a drink, grab a bite to eat, and basically people watch and be entertained. As we continue to walk this way, we'll have Benjamin's. Now Benjamin's is the place that I talked about of having the crow's nest on the third floor. One of the spots you wouldn't know about if you're not from town. And then, oh, probably one of my favorite places as we're approaching, literally they pump out the smell throughout the summer months and winter, and this is gonna be Kilwins. This is, this place has at all times, literally lines outside of them during the summer. Their food, their, their desserts are one of a kind, absolutely my favorite, cookie dough ice cream, that's gonna be my favorite ice cream. 
Now, one thing to point out for the parents that are looking to be able to provide entertainment for their kids is we have an arcade. And the arcade sits at the corner, and we'll walk this way so the film team can get it. it sits at the corner of Pelham and uh, Upper Thames Street. So this arcade, you will keep your kids entertained for hours and hours on end if you're looking for a place to drop them off while you walk and roll into downtown, go to Bones Wharf and continue shopping on Upper and Lower Thames Street. This is gonna be the Pelham. This is the place that I mentioned earlier in the video that has live entertainment all of the time. Again, you wanna get there early in the evening because they do pack it out. Sometimes they have a cover charge, sometimes they don't, depending on the time of the season and what type of band they have playing there. This right here, folks, this is gonna be Blues Cafe again, another live entertainment spot that is very popular during the summer months. So again, if you're looking to go out, if you're looking for entertainment, Pelham and Blues Cafe are gonna be two locations you're gonna to wanna to make sure to check out during your visit here to Newport. As we continue to walk this way, you have San Antonio Banks, or for those that need a bank. And as we're walking, we're walking again towards Lower Thames Street. So this entire time, we've been featuring Upper Thames Street. As we cross over Memorial, which is where the light is next to the Red Parrot, that becomes Lower Thames Street. So let's head that way. So one of the newer spots towards the end of Upper Thames Street is Surf Shack. They've been around for a couple years. This is a great location as well during the summer months to grab a drink, hang out, and people watch. Probably one of my favorite things to do. Now, as we're crossing over Memorial, this is gonna become Lower Thames Street. Little secret is always peek around the corner here because it's hard to see difficult, it's difficult to see past the post office building. So you're gonna wanna kinda lean out so that you don't get obviously taken out by a car as they come around down Memorial. All right, so since we crossed over Memorial and America's Cup, we are now on Lower Thames Street. So two really popular restaurants on Lower Thames Street, you're gonna have Red Parrot. This is behind me. They have three floors that are huge, really good food, always very consistent with their food. And then next to them, more of a newer spot in the last 10 years is Midtown Oyster Bar. Midtown, up on that deck right there during the summer, it will be packed with people because it literally overlooks Lower Thames Street. So you can be entertained, people watch, like I said, one of my favorite things to do. And always, always really good food. They actually have a little bar in the back, right up in the back corner there, that, that, they, added, that they added as an addition. That's again, a great spot to sit outside, enjoy the warm weather, and really enjoy what Newport has to offer. So just when you get onto Lower Thames Street, one of my favorite places on the water is gonna be 41 North. As we kind of turn this way, most people, as you drive down Lower Thames Street, may miss 41 North, which is towards the back of the wharf. You can see it right behind me there. Incredible views, uh, great place to sit outside and be entertained. It's a, it's a ho it's boutique hotel, and a lot of people will come out of town and stay there. So that's 41 North, and then you'll also have the scooter rental place right here as well behind me. So if you're looking to rent a scooter, if you're looking to go out to Ocean Drive, this would be the location to grab that scooter and to be able to enjoy what Newport has to offer. We got Ben and Jerry's, really popular, obviously a strong competitor to Kilwins, uh, but both places will have lines out the, out the door all day long. Everybody likes their ice cream in the morning, afternoon, dinner time, and evening. So one of the things that I'd like to point out is the sailing museum. So this is on Lower Thames Street. Newport is, one of, is the sailing capital of the world. So the sailing museum is a new feature here at the Armory. So if you're looking for history and rich history on sailing, the Sailing Museum is a place you're gonna to wanna to visit. It's right across from, it's right across from the boutique, um, I forget the name of that uh, clothing store, so my apologies, but you also had the old Via Via building. One of my wife's favorite places to shop is Rochelle's, so we try to, <laughs> we try to keep her limited there. Again, as you can see, there's condos that are on the, on the water side. Different neighborhoods exist on the other side of Thames Street, but hopefully you're getting a good sense as we're walking down Thames Street from upper to lower, just the um, amount of places there are to visit and be entertained by and shop at and eat at. And this is why people come to Newport. It's walkable, it's easy to get everywhere, it's super safe. So people, it's hard to find, I've traveled a lot, it's hard to find an area 
at least where I have traveled, that represents or mimics what Newport has to offer as far as proximity to downtown, walkability, again being safe, different options to shop and eat at. Thanks for joining me today on our tour of Upper and Lower Thames Street here in Newport, Rhode Island. If you're looking for more information on Newport or surrounding areas in Rhode Island, all of my contact information is in the description below.